What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, and today we're here for another episode of AKW Q&A. Now in this episode I'm going to be answering your guys' questions left over the last sort of two months or so. It's been a while since the last episode, so there was a lot of questions in my Discord server, so I've gone through and uh, picked sort of the best ten or so questions from there. So if you were one of the, like, literally a hundred people that left a question over the last two months, and you're not, um, you're not in the video, then my apologies, but I did have to sort of fine-tune or, uh, um really just sort of pick the best ones, so uh, my apologies for that. Either way though, if you want to leave any questions for the next episode of this series, then you can do so in the comment section, my Twitter, or my Discord server, links for all that are in the description. Either way though, let's get into the first episode. Question rather, not episode. This is like episode 15, I think. First question this week is coming from Ziffer Magic, and they asked, do you think the direction that they are currently taking classes is a good one? If not, what would you suggest that they start to change? So, um, this is a really good question because I completely disagree with the way they're taking classes, but I kind of sort of don't really blame them. Um, basically what they've been doing, what AE has been doing with classes is they've been just sort of ramping up the, 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 um, what is it, the power of each class as they release newer ones. So for example, you know, uh, Legion Doom Knight once upon a time was the best soloing class in the game, but now there's like light casters, uh, I think Stonecrush is worse, I can't remember off the top of my head. I um, mean, you know, there's Arch Paladin, Void, High Lord, Shadowstalker of Time, Eternal Chronomancer, Glacial Berserker, there's just heaps of classes that are now better than that, and it's like, you know, there's just, they're just progressively, as they release more classes, um, making the old ones, um, making the old ones obsolete, and so it's kind of shitty in that way, because classes, in my mind, are supposed to be a unique way to experience the game, and each class should have its own purpose or its own utility in some way. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's so many classes in the game that I don't really blame AE for doing this, but it's 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 a shitty situation and I don't really like the way they're doing it, but I don't really see any other way. In the cu current sort of combat system, I guess they'd have to change the, the combat system entirely to prevent this from happening. Our next question is from Ninja with a Rocket Launcher, and they asked, have you ever been judged for going against the meta of soloing in order to have captivating, actually team-based strategies? So, um, if you're unsure about what he means by this, He's basically referring to the fact that in the past I've said um, that I think soloing just in general shouldn't be a thing in AKW. Soloing is a very boring way um, to go about making classes and just experiencing the game in general. And so I've always said, you know, classes should try and strive to be one of three sort of categories, DPS, tank, and healer, um, or support. And so that sort of basis has sort of been, that sort of, underlying prop like property of MMOs has been thrown out the window with AKW and there are classes like Void High Lord that self-supporting DPS monsters and they're tanky as fuck like it just does all three really well and it's just ridiculous and so it's um I but I yeah I have been judged for saying that before um I get people telling me that there's just a there's a plethora of reasons why I they think I'm wrong about that and why they think soloing is somehow better um, and I, at the end of the day, I'm just, I, all, all I strive to do in video games is have fun. And so when I look at AKW and I, and I, uh, and I look at the game and I play it and I don't have fun, I then go and think of reasons for why I'm not having fun. And the main reason for this is I'm not made to think about what I'm doing in AKW because everything is so linear, because everything's surrounding soloing, because everything is just so, um, self-focused in AKW. So that's my mindset with the whole thing about why AKW isn't fun. Um, and, but I guess it's just my own opinion, but I've always said, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, it's it's solo, it's, it's what I think. You don't have to think the same way, but uh, people obviously don't take it that way. This next one is also from Ninja with a Rocket Launcher, and they asked, I asked before, how long living you think AKW will, will be? By proxy, your channel is, so a follow-up question is, um, what will you do once that lifespan finishes? Will you adapt your channel and this Discord, or will it be devoid of its intended purpose? So, um, honestly, I'd like to adapt my channel, um, but I feel like AKW is unlikely to die. It doesn't seem like AE is giving up on it, so I've, I've not really considered it all that much, to be honest, because, you know, it's... I don't know. I'd love to move my channel to a different game, don't get me wrong, like, I, you know, I don't like AKW, like, as a game, like, it doesn't, uh, give me entertainment when I play it. So that part is obviously a really big thing that like makes me not want to do videos on AKW, but at the same time, I do enjoy making videos on AKW, so that's fine, I guess. But at the same time, you know, I'd love to, one, enjoy making videos about the game that I play 
and then which I already do but two also enjoy the game that I play that I make uh, videos about so I don't know it's I'd love to just move my channel to another game that I actually enjoy but at the same time it's like uh, you know what games do I enjoy I don't really have like a game that I enjoy at the moment unfortunately um, but uh, I'll find something maybe I don't know probably not I, I said I'd make videos on Destiny 2 when that came out and I've been playing Destiny 2 and it's, it's uh, Destiny 2 is pretty damn shitty <laughs> um, so I, I don't really want to make videos on that game to be honest this next question is coming from Nick and they asked any tips for someone who wants to get into AKW content creation so I'll give you guys a little uh, insight into how I thought of the, the ideas for my videos because the biggest thing people come to and asking me like you know when they're asking me for advice on AKW videos I always say to them you know just try and think of a concept uh, that hasn't been done before with AKW it's really easy to do that when you think when you look at, at YouTube as a whole YouTube is a really saturated platform and there's a lot of stuff that's just already been done and the vast majority of ideas that you're gonna think of have already been done and so it's really difficult to think of unique content that people are actually gonna be interested in whereas when you look at AKW as just a like a little little slither of YouTube as a platform uh, you can a the AKW community is really isolated you know like when you look at a, a community like League of Legends, for example, you'll see a lot of crossover with communities like Dota and Heroes of the Storm and Overwatch and just all those sorts of games. You'll see a lot of crossover, but with AKW, AKW is a different type of game. It's sort of a very, uh, I don't know, there's not much crossover with other communities. And so you can really just steal ideas from other communities and adapt them to AKW. And when I say steal, obviously, that's just a bit of hyperbole, but um, I just, what I, it's what I've done with all pretty much all of my ideas for my videos. Um, Q&A series, this Q&A series I got from like a, a Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber. Um, and I've sort of changed it around a little bit, but that's generally, well, it's not my idea. I, I've never taken credit for it. It's a pretty generic co concept, but it hadn't ever been done in AKW before, so I just made it, and it seemed to do pretty well. And how good is, is a direct ripoff of uh, Total Biscuits WTFers, although I really, it's really just the name. It, the, the videos themselves are not very, very similar at all, but, you know, the, the naming concept, I guess, is directly from Total Biscuit. Um, what else do I do? AKW News is a direct ripoff of uh, Total Biscuit's um, content patch series. He doesn't do that anymore, but yeah, I, I, I loved that series that he did, so I um, changed it around and made it into an AKW series. And so, yeah, it's just a matter of looking at ideas that other people have done and being like, all right, let's, uh, let's try and turn this into an AKW thing. No one's done this before in the AKW community. Let's uh, do it here. It's uh, quite easy to think of unique ideas for videos in the AKW community. Cryophoenix asks, what are some things you dislike that many players do? Uh, for me, this is going to be along the lines of, um, I wouldn't say AFKing, but like just not playing, I guess. I don't know. It really annoys me when people, uh, I don't know. It just annoys me when people are like sitting there in a room, not attacking the, mo the monsters. It's like, Come on, dude, if you want to AFK, go to Yolga or sit in battle on or something. Like, you're taking out slots in this room, you know, it's annoying to try and move rooms. And when you're like, I'm farming class points in Nightmare, for example, you just have like two people AFK in the room. And so, overall, you, everyone's, you, you, you're killing the monsters less quickly, and it's just annoying, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't really play AKW that much, so I don't really have many like huge, like, things that irritate me. It doesn't really irritate me that much, to be honest, but yeah, that's, that's probably, probably something. Next question is coming from Hoback, and they asked, do you think classes should remain how they are, or should monsters be buffed so that classes remain the same, but it's harder to defeat the monsters uh, the monsters that are currently in the game? So they're asking, you know, should we nerf um, bosses, should we buff bosses, or should we nerf classes? Because um, they're sort of coming at this, this question from the perspective of like, uh, AKW needs to be harder, but do we nerf classes and keep monsters the same, or do we buff monsters and keep uh, classes the same so um, I think buffing monsters is the best way to go because I think if you just were to nerf a lot of classes if the, the game would just feel less satisfying to play whereas in terms of just raw numbers that you see whereas if monsters are more difficult but classes remain the same at least you're getting the same feeling from the classes you're not like fucking with people's like impressions of classes and stuff you're like people still feel like they're using the same class but it, it just they're having to maybe um, think about what they're doing a bit more or, you know, just act a bit differently with it, but they still got the same tools at hand. I think that's the best way to go about it. Next question is from Heyu or Hayu. 
I don't know. Either way, they asked, why do you think AE makes items go rare? Do you think there's a specific reason for it? Uh, so AE makes items go rare because they want people to, they, wa they want to give people incentive to buy them. Um, at the end of the day, every item that's, that you have to buy with ACs is, ACs equals real money. Like, you, it, that's the way you got to look at it. And so AE wants people wants, wants people to have every incentive they possibly can to spend their ACs. So they're going to buy more ACs, which gives them more money, which gives them, you know, obviously that's just what AE wants because they're a company and, you know, it makes sense. Um, so if an item's rare, you are more likely to think, oh, it's going to be gone soon. I'm, I might as well spend the money to do it or whatever or to buy it. So it's kind of, yeah, it's a it's an incentive to buy stuff. If everything was just non-rare, then they wouldn't have as much motivation to buy stuff. Um, so yeah, that's prop that's probably why. Also, rare is just like a cool thing that people have gotten into with um, AQW. It's a it's a very much a um, ego boost thing for a lot of people, and so it's kind of become like a community of like rare collectors. And so there are a lot of collectors out there that you know hoard rares, and then you know they're very proud of it, and that's what keeps them playing the game, and it's what they why they keep coming back because it was valuable account with all these you know rares on it that and they feel feel pride for it so there's a couple of reasons behind it but yeah this question is from what the hecking frick and they asked which class do you feel is most worth it for how much you need to work for it for example void high load in relation to the two months you need to farm for it so if we're talking just what's like a good class it's easy to farm scarlet sorceress um shaman's also quite easy um Scarlet Sorceress is really good though because it's just a boss drop um, and it's like a fairly good farming class. Um, basically, the, like the reputation classes where you only need one rank 10 rep, is uh, all of them are like pretty decent. I think uh, Necromancer and uh, Master Ranger are probably the worst of those, but um, yeah, I, I'd probably say Scarlet Sorceress to be honest. This question is from Migo, and they asked, would you ever record a Q&A video while drunk and the other admins of the server by your side? So, he, by the way, he's talking about the admins in my Discord server. If you're not familiar with that, you should join. It's a, it's a fun time. But, uh, yeah, the admins in my Discord server are like all my close friends from real life. So, he's basically asking, would you do a Q&A video with, uh, with all the boys? And we're all drunk, which I'm like, that sounds fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, might leave a poll in the description for that. That uh, sounds like a good idea. And he also asked, if so, how long do you think the video will last before you start shouting at each other? Unless you're all very civilized while drunk, which I heavily doubt. See, here's the thing. As, as a person, let's just take a little tangent here. As a person, I'm not a very like, angry or hateful person. Um, and when you're drunk, you kind of you kind of bring out the, tr the, the true person behind the facade, I guess. Um, and so, unless I've been like really pissed off by someone, like someone's really done something that pissed me off, then I don't get angry or like, I'm... As a drunk, I'm like a I'm like a happy sort of uh, friendly like sort of um, chatty drunk. Like I'm not an a I don't ever think of myself as like an angry or hateful person when I'm drunk. So uh, my friends might get a bit rowdy, but I don't think I would, to be honest. But uh, that would be a fun video. That would be a fun video. Um, I am I am definitely down to do that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are down to see that um, because it can be arranged. Um, that definitely could be arranged. <laughs> That'll be fucking amazing. This next question is from uh, Kulia. Kulia. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, dude. They asked, "What do you think of Tom Clancy's The Division?" Um, I'm actually like really interested in this game because I got Destiny 2, and I'm like kind of disappointed with it a little bit. I don't know. It's ugh. Destiny 2 is like such a divi divisive thing for me because I'm like. It's fun, but the gun, like the gunplay, is so fun in that game. Like everything just feels so satisfying. But like the mechanics, well, and even the mechanics are still fun. But like the, um, like the loot system and like just a lot of just a whole lot of stuff in Destiny 2 that sucks. Whereas the Division, on the other hand, is a very, is a more matured game. And uh, I really like the theme of the Division. Like I love how that like they've got the ultra realistic graphics. You know, I like the like the guns. Um, I'm mean, I'm really interested in like the the setting and uh, the story it just interests me a lot more than than Destiny 2 does so I'm I'm I've don't have it I don't have the division but I, I want it um, but I've heard bad things about it so I'm apprehensive I didn't I that's why I don't actually have it because I've heard bad things about it but uh I'm tempted I'm tempted this question is coming from Pokey Freak, and they asked don't necromancer need a buff because it's slow at soloing and you will die fast okay Here's, here's what I think of this question, what you're asking here. You're saying, 
Necromancers slow at soloing and they die, so it needs a buff. Yeah, uh, just, uh, it just frustrates me because in theory, yes, it does need a buff because it's not up to speed with the latest classes that have been released. But at the same time, AKW as like a as a game right now is in a terrible position. I talked about this in, earlier in the video, where it's like each class I release is a little bit better than the last one, and so they kind of just have to keep one-upping themselves to keep people interested in the game. It's a terrible thing, but it's what they have to do because it's the sort of situation that they've kind of got stuck in. So I don't, I I don't necessarily think Necromancer needs a buff because it's an old class. Um, but at the same time, every class should be, uh, should have its own incentive behind using it, if that makes sense. So, it, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a tricky one, um, and I think, just as a general rule of thumb, I don't think it's very intelligent to, to say, um, this class is, is slow and it's, you'll die fast, so you need to buff. I, I think there's a lot more to it than just that. Um, but yeah, I guess it kind of does need a buff, but not really. That is, that's going to about, about do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.